Alright, hello and welcome to another Dawn of War Let's Play. Today we will be seeing a match of the orcs played by Uncle Jemima versus Cannon Fodder playing Chaos Space Marines. Uh, so let's get this started. I was actually an observer on this game. Uh, along with a couple of high tiered type players that were commentating on the game in um, chat. So... I actually have a little bit of a clue as to what's going on here as far as strategy goes and hopefully be able to give you a little bit. See there we go, Sneaky Fox. And by tech he means heretic. And as you can see he's going double heretic, space marine, and going for the shooter boys, both very typical builds both players basically doing a mirror right now as far as capturing points if you notice the created squads are both capturing middle the hero is moving up the le the east lane and uh, for the orcs anyways meanwhile here we have heretics capturing the right point the orc decided not to go for that uh, the heretics need to retreat the war boss will make short work of them He's a very good melee hero. Here we have the Plague Champion with his bolter going up against one squad of shooters, and here comes the second you squad. He will ha he will be forced to retreat. Uh, as you can see by the graphics here. Uh, let's see if I can actually. Yeah, there we go. As you can see by the graphics here, uh, his bolter actually puts a damage over time spell on units, which is quite interesting. Plus the graphics in this game are really awesome, very detailed models uh, for an RTS. Plus you get to color them yourself. Anyways, so here we have our Plague Champion. He is retreating. Gay. With his special boulder. I'm just doing that because the game's short. Plus it's cool and I've always wanted to show that. So now Chaos Space Marines obviously stronger than the Shooter Boys, especially once the Heretics get them into melee. Um, yeah, there's me. Forces assail the power node. And yeah, once the Heretics engage in melee, the Shooters are not so good. As we can he see here, the Slug is going for the power harass. Orcs built up his generator farm, two gens down right now, probably going to plop a third soon enough. The war boss captured the requisition point after pushing the heretics off it. Plague champion healing. And here we have um, the red player converging on this slugger boy squad. And they should have been in ranged modes. They would actually attack with their flamers. Uh, that's what we're talking about here in the comments. And here you can see the orcs yet again moving out with the two shooter squads next to each other so they can support and such in the meantime the hero back here is attacking the heretics and yeah he's gonna get killed he should have run earlier As once those chaos showed up he should have run instead of going for the model kills on the heretics because at this point it'll cost him more than uh, he bargained for uh... now here's an interesting moment in the game uh... the shooters have their big shooter upgrade uh... so they're able to use suppression um, in the meantime we have uh, the plague champion shooting them from a distance behind cover and he actually sent the space marines into melee because the shooters can't do enough damage to them even with suppression so they'll be forced to retreat from melee and there he goes getting a unit kill however war boss is down that's 250 requisition um, the slaves of heresy. Your units fulfill your command. pretty big thing to lose there so um, he's getting grenade launchers on one of his heretic squad. Pretty typical play. And pushing forward Your forces obey you. with his heretics, capping that point with his champion. 
Yeah, there we go. There's the orcs going probably for the power again. And they're still not using their flamers properly. They went into melee. Uh, they do count as power weapons in melee, though, as uh, we apparently discovered. And there we have the two heretic squads probably swinging around. Um, the now the interesting thing here is... One of our power nodes. The interesting thing here is the orcs were up over there and he decided to actually send all of his forces for this gen bash. Uh, the slugger boys are already on it. Need to be using the flamers. In the meantime, uh, the chaos heretics are responding by going for a little gen bash of their own. Not quite as effective as the flamers. And these guys are probably going for the middle. They have their uh, sergeant upgrade, as you can tell. Because that's when they get the little eye above them. Uh, that means they can see stealth units among other things. And the plague champion is being pulled back. And the space marines are at base. So let's see how this turns out. There go the heretics. We They're passing the by the control point, going for, for the gen. These heretics are just going for reverse for Chen Harath back. Now, and here come the Space Marines, upgraded now with that little plus above them. Um, and the Plague Champion, as well as the heretics, but the heretics getting suppressed by the two shooters, having a tough time making it up that hill. And, yeah, remember how I said they were upgraded? Well, here, in the power armor, right there, is the sparring champion swinging his sword. Bzz, bzz. And apparently nothing. Getting flamered a little bit. And if you can see, they all just got suppressed. By a special ability, probably, or the something. Enemy attacks one of your oh, no, not by special ability. Um, heretics have the ability to uh, detonate and suicide themselves. And that's what he did, because he knew he would not be able to get that squad out. So he just suicided to try and do some damage and cover the retreat of his generator. other units. If that victory point is lost... So yeah, as you can see, the heretics here also going for some gen harass. Not quite as effective as the full orc army. Um, and chaos is bringing in some noise marines. Meanwhile, the orcs are going for their tier two. We may yet triumph today. And yeah, just more commentary of ours in The Spectator. Uh, I'm referring to a game that I will not cast, but I will cast a second one out of this match set that I played. Uh, noise Marines are actually very interesting because they have an area of effect flamer that prevents uh, the people being attacked from attacking. Uh, very interesting in that way. And you see, look, he's not firing anymore. And as he advances the shooters, they'll all go into the range of that and... Sluggers, I mean, and be unable to fire. And now he uses the knockback and forced to retreat. Can't do anything against those noise marines. So, a little bits of lag here and there. It happens. Oh well. Uh, here you can see heretics are on a camping mission, as they almost always are. Noise marines pushing forward, uh, while the chaos are capping. And the orc is going for a war truck, while uh, they're going for a second space marine squad. War boss versus plague champion. The plague champion will not win that engagement. In the meantime, the Noise Marines going for some gen harass here. Pretty nice with the area of effect. As you can see, they're getting some good splash damage over pretty much everything. 
And here comes the Orc War Truck deploying the squad. Noise Marines using the knockback and then retreating. Good play there. They're still going to lose a model. Um, we have the advantage for in the meantime, here you see the War Boss with a missing hit point bar in the middle. Common glitch in beta replays. Uh, going against the Plague Champion, Your who's just getting his Vile Spewer. But more importantly, he was supported by two Chaos squads, so. Uh, war boss forced into retreat. In the meantime, the war truck is making moves, Your trying to go for a flank and maybe finish off this plague champion here. And there comes the death tread. That's what he should have gotten all along. Uh, the death tread would have been very good against the chaos space marines because it would force them into melee. Uh, that's a place where they don't want to be. Hostile forces assail the power node. You are your units fulfill your command. And here we're commenting about how the Chaos uh, player had a lot of requisition, but not a lot of power because he's been constantly gen bashed this entire game. And I mean the orcs aren't doing so well either, but they got the two things of theirs that needed the power, specifically the Death Red. And the Chaos has nothing to counter this Death Red or the War Truck and doesn't have the power to advance the tier 2. The Dark Gods see your defeat. And this is where the game ended. With a nice little War Truck here just chilling. <laughs> Let's see what else do we have here. We have some shooters, one of them being kind of dead. And there's the burn of sluggas moving on up. The Chaos Space Marines in full retreat. And the Plague Champion. Look at how disgusting and plaguey he is. He is. He's literally like dead. Because he has like what? He has like life support coming out of his power armor. Let's put it that way. Oh, these are actually the Noise Marines, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The helmet on them gives it away. Plus, they have a little screaming mouth on their uh, side. But yeah, this is very high unit detail for like an RTS game, so you don't see like StarCraft putting this much care into their units. So, that's pretty cool of them. Plus, the amount that they let you zoom in, like, look at this. I can literally be looking at one, like, little patch on the ground. Space Marines, pretty typical. And the Death Dread. Ha ha. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I love the orc engineering, if that's what you would call it. <laughs> I would not call that engineering, but it is awesome. Uh, so yeah. Basically, it was a very close game. As you can tell by how close the bars are on this, I mean, look at it. Uh, but in the end, what happened here is the chaos just got gen bashed too much and too frequently. And they're pretty, they need quite a fair bit of power. Meanwhile, the orcs are not that power heavy. So the orcs were able to go into tier 2 and get a death dread and the war truck. Uh, and the chaos had absolutely no answer to that. So the game is over. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this match. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't.